Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover sample and hold circuit using OPAMP. You will see these types of questions in your college exams. Either a sample and hold circuit or peak detector. These are favorite questions of examiners. So in this video, we are going to cover sample and hold circuit. So what is sample and hold circuit? It is a simple circuit which samples your input signal. Okay, so this is my input signal V in. Sample and hold circuit will take a sample of your input signal. Then it will hold it for a particular time period until the input is sampled again. So in this part output remains constant means it holds its last sampled value and then it starts sampling again. So this process will go on. That's why the circuit is called sample and hold circuit. So we are going to see this in detail how it happens. Okay. So this is the circuit. So if you see this much part this is just a voltage follower circuit okay now this potentiometer is connected to minimize the offset voltage okay so this is out of scope but just know that this is to minimize offset voltage to non-inverting terminal we are going to connect this sample and hold circuit the main circuit so we are going to study this circuit in detail because this is the main circuit this circuit is just connected to voltage follower and voltage follower is nothing but it follows the input whatever you give in input it will come across output okay now in this part of the circuit the main component is switch this is e-mosfet enhancement mosfet okay it has three terminals drain gate and source we all have studied this e-mosfet in some another subject this is drain terminal so to this drain terminal of e-mosfet we are giving our input voltage this is our input voltage it will look like this analog input signal now to gate terminal gate is the controlling terminal so we will give our controlling input means sample and hold control voltage vs and to the source terminal we have connected one capacitor c okay so, and this terminal is going to the non-inverting terminal of op amp so whatever it will come across this it will be passed to the output voltage through voltage follower so we understood what is connected where now we will see the working when there is positive Vs, okay, when there is positive Vs means when we are in this part, okay, we are in this part, E MOSFET conducts means it acts as a closed switch because it gets positive pulse. So this path is now closed. Okay, E MOSFET starts conducting so it acts as closed switch. So this path is closed. Now capacitor is charging with V in voltage. Okay, so capacitor is charging with V in voltage means our output is following input so we get whatever there is in input at output side your vc is directly coming across your v in so your vc is nothing but v in now and your vc is nothing but vo output voltage this is your output voltage whenever there will be positive pulse your output will follow input so here in this positive pulse your output will be same as your input this cycle will go on in every positive pulse. Now what happens in negative pulse is important. So what happens when Vs is equal to 0 is important. Now our Vs means our controlling voltage is 0. So your gate terminal gets no input. So your E MOSFET stops conducting. Now your E MOSFET is off. So it will act as open switch. So this path is disconnected. There is nothing between these two points. Now your capacitor has no path to discharge. See, your capacitor has two paths. Either it will go here, but it can't go here because it is open circuit there. Or it can go here, but this side we have voltage follower. And we know input resistance of op-amp is very high. So it cannot discharge through op-amp. So it has no way, no path to discharge. So what it will do? It will hold its charge. It will retain its charge. So until the next positive pulse, it is holding its charge. So, your output is going to be equal to Vc. Okay. And your Vc has the last sampled voltage value. Okay. So, whenever Vs is 0, E MOSFET will turn off. It will act as open switch. Then your capacitor will have no path to discharge. Then it will hold its charge for some period. And then again a positive pulse will come. And then again your output will follow the input. Okay. So, it is very simple to understand. So in this way, sample and hold circuit samples your input signal. TS is sampling period and holding period is when your output is constant. Okay. 
So TS is sample periods and TH is hold periods. Apart from this, what should be the relation between FS and FN? What is FS? Frequency of control voltage and FN is frequency of your input voltage. So if you want close approximation of your input signal, means if you want close similarity between your output and input signal, then your frequency of control voltage should be greater than FN. So this is the thumb rule, your FS should be more than FN and as you increase FS, the closeness will increase. So this was sample and hold circuit. I hope you all have understood it. If you have understood this concept, like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.